Today, we are going to show you how to install a regulator onto a 20 pound cylinder. First, remove the blue seal of quality from the top of the cylinder's valve. In Tobago, the seal is white. Next, we check for leaks by using the soapy water test. Using a soapy solution, test at various areas of the cylinders for leaks, the valve and body, particularly the joints. If there are leaks, you will see bubbles forming. In case of leaks, the cylinder should be removed to a well-ventilated open, outdoor space away from sources of ignition, open flames, air conditioning compressors, water pumps, drains, buildings, and other LPG cylinders. It should be placed in an upright position and isolated from general access. If the leak is detected as emerging from the shroud or valve area of the cylinder, place a wet rag or cloth over the area. Do not attempt to make any repairs and return the cylinder directly to the retailer or NPC lots for inspection and possible replacement. If there are no leaks, you can continue installing the regulator. When purchasing a new regulator for your stove, always ensure it meets the following approved standards for household use. EN12864 or EN16129. Do not use the regulators with the adjustable gas flow valves for domestic use. Pull the regulator lock up, then push the regulator down onto the LPG cylinder's valve until you hear a click. Next, push down on the regulator lock. If the insulation is done correctly, you should be able to lift the LPG cylinder by the regulator alone. Turn on the regulator by twisting the valve from the off position until the flame or the word on is visible on top. Repeat the soapy water test on the regulator, particularly where it connects to the hose. If there are no leaks, you've successfully installed the regulator and can get to cooking. NP Gas. Tune on the good times.